the captain, bitch. You heard a deuce. So, how do I know Deuce? Well, Deuce is actually my little cousin. More like my little brother. Um, since he was born, we've always been together. And now that he's a rapper, you know what I'm saying, this rap stuff, man, I'm, I'm proud of him, man. He's doing his thing. Um, I definitely support his music. He has his own sound, and everybody that I introduced their music to, his music to, they enjoy it as well. Um, definitely has the drive and the ethic to make it. And I know he is. He's going to do great things with his music, man. I'm very, very proud of him. Um, he's always had the ambition to be his own man and do his own thing and have his own lane. And he's going to show the world with this music he has going on. Hi, my name is Crystal. I'm Deuce's sister. He's my little big brother, but only because he's taller than me. That's why I call him that. I'm still big sis, though, bruh. Believe it. <laughs> but I just want to say, I'm proud of you and where you go with your music. But I tell you that, but I want everyone else to know that your sister is proud of you. But to know my brother on a personal level, he's very shy. Very, very, very shy. So that's when he said he wanted to go into music. In my head, I was like, Deuce, you shy. Like, like shy, shy. Like, you don't talk to nobody, shy, shy. But you know, that's what you want to do. Big sis, all for it. He starts sending me music. I was like, oh. My brother goes in the booth and let all that go. He becomes a whole different person, which I love. Yes! But um, he's going into this wonderful young man that I see through his music like he's perfecting his craft. He's like nothing. Nothing stop him from doing this. Nothing. And when I say that, nothing stopping him. But with that being said, I want to say that 2020 will be the year that the world will know who my little big brother is, which is the only one deuce. Love you. Yo, this is for my brother, only one deuce. Uh, me and him go way back, back to when I first moved to Atlanta. Uh, we had the same math class. I hope you remember uh, fine ass Miss Shoti. You know, uh, that's before he was deuce though. You know, he was catching. No hang time in the dress, no none of that. And my boy was still fresh with the with the twisties in his head. Uh, that was my nigga though. We we fucked with each other. We had a couple of niggas in the class that you know was funny, was cool that we fucked with. Um, but that was my nigga. To see where he at now, you know, from dudes that just used to talk shit to my boy rapping, making tracks. I'm proud of him. I'm, I'm definitely happy for the success that he's got. I'm glad to be a part of the journey that he's going. Uh, you know, I'm definitely excited to see what my boy gonna be in the future. Deuce though, it's my dog. Uh, Known him since middle school. Long story short, man, ever since my boy said he was gonna do this rap shit in June of 2019, we in March of 2020, my boy got EPs put up, videos about to drop, and shit is in motion right now. We setting up a blueprint for everything. You feel me? What's up, YouTube? We're here in Visionary Studios, brought to you by Visionary Media, directed by Yash. Uh, I'm your host, Chris Darwin, and we are here today to talk with the hottest brother to come out of the South, Only One Deuce. All right, so we're here with Only One Deuce. What's up, what's up? Okay, Deuce, so we, we about to get into a, a little, little Q&A for the folks. Let them, let them get to know you a little bit. You ready? Show. All right, cool. Uh, we gonna keep this natural. Try, try not to let it be too stiff. So, so you know, we just gonna run right through it. All right. All right. So, first thing I think the people need to know is where you from? Atlanta. No sir. No Atlanta with an F. All right. You know, <laughs> for sure. Had to had to set that up there. Real okay. Quick. All right. Atlanta. Okay. So, so what you doing in the bird? Uh. I mean, I really wasn't, I really wasn't doing it in Atlanta for real. So my mom, she wasn't, she wasn't really fucking with that. So I came up here for a vacation. She turned it to an extended vacation. Okay, okay, <laughs> kind of like a Fresh Prince story. Yeah, basically, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you, you know, I, I fucks with. All right. Uh, well, who is Deuce? Who is only one Deuce? Like, who, what, what does that represent to you? I mean, honestly, Deuce came. My parents gave me that nickname, so I just. I just ran with it, and yeah, that's for sure. I mean, <laughs> that's what I mean. I can't think of nothing else for that one. I just, that's where that came from. Okay, all right. Well, 
Well, how did you get started with, with music? Okay. How did I get started with music? My uncle. So if you're from Pittsburgh, you know my uncle, Tuffy Tuff. He, he had a hot single back in the day. So I always like looked at that shit and I like music. And my daddy started a little uh little record label company and shit in Atlanta with my cousin uh Tyler, his pops. And just coming around, seeing it all the time, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna do this rap shit. And I started like record I recorded my first song at nine years old. It was some corny shit, but yeah. And then I just was like on and off with it. But like, I've been stuck with it now for like six, seven months now. I've been straight just locked into it. Okay, so, so rap is, that's, that's gonna be like your full-time thing. Yeah. Is, is that what you're doing full-time right now? Or are you, how, you, how do you spend your time when you're not doing your music? Working, I'm just working and straight from work studio work studio work studio that's all i do okay on the come up yeah it's come up season for everybody right now 2020. all right uh what would you be doing if you weren't making music Mm, nothing i'd be fucked up running the streets still so it's music or not yeah it's the music or not i can't go back not in a bad way though for y'all niggas to get shit confused, I can still go back to the north. We ain't talking like that. We talking about some, some other shit. Like, I can't. I made. I made a promise. I can't do that. So I gotta stick to my promise. All right, respect. All right. So who who are your f- top five artists right now? Top five. It can be all time. Cause right, I'm gonna go with just my five favorite rappers: Pac, Bone Thugs. Who else I believe? Who else I believe? Rod Wave. Um, who else I believe? Who else I believe? Yeah. Shit. All my niggas, they're my favorite. I, I can't name them all, but all of them, we gonna just put them at four and five. Who else? Who else I really, really fucking fucking with like that? Uh, can't even think offhand right now. But definitely, like, out of anybody, I listen to pop every day. Like, you know, not one day go by where I don't listen to pop, like, and all his shit, like, every single day. So I really be fucking with pop. Would you say Tupac is, like, your, your biggest musical influence? Um, not influence. Not influence, but definitely, like, um, I, I want to leave, like, an impact like he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's decades later, we still listen to pop. Like, he's still selling music. You said you said your you heard your your uncle did music. You said yeah. Okay, and so is that what that's that was like your own your number one motivation to get started with music? Yeah, I seen I seen him. He had all the cars, all that. I'm like, oh, you living like this? I'm trying to do that. So that's really what sparked it off. Seeing him. Okay. And what to this day, what keeps you motivated to, to keep doing it? Myself. I seen how far I came, so I can't like I wanted to quit this shit so many times, but I I had like I always been an underdog, so I can't like I can't I can't I got some shit to prove, so I got that's my motivation myself. Underdog, I, I think I've I've heard that term quite a few times in, in, in your song. Is that is that like the message in your music? Mm-hmm. Being being someone who's been counted out. Mm-hmm. And, and, Looked over uh, all my life. I feel like I've been underdog, so it's my time now. Okay. Right. So you got any other skills or any other talents? Uh, I can roll backwards a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talents? Um, no, I can't draw. I can't do, can't do shit like that. Um, my class, my only talent is real just rapping that I can think of. I could drive with my knee and roll a blunt at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna just say I'm a very experienced blunt roller. We gonna go with that. Hey, that's, that is a very valuable skill. Um, random question. What's up? What's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food, chicken. Chicken? Fried chicken? Like wings. Like, wings. Yeah, wings. Any, 
any flavor of wings, it's just the lemon pepper from wings stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ross knew what he was doing with that shit. <laughs> no cap. So why should people listen to your music? Cause my shit ain't that bullshit y'all be, uh, that other bullshit y'all be listening to. And my shit is all facts, no cap. You can ask any nigga around me. I can't even put the shit in my raps if I don't, if, that, if I ain't live it or see it, you know what I'm saying? I can't, that shit's false advertising. How do you classify your style? Um, that's a good question. Um, I classify it. No, I just feel like I got my own lane. I feel like I don't. I'm versatile as hell, and I can't sing or no shit like that. But I'm versatile. Like all my shit, like it sounds like me, but it like it, every little song got its own little twist to it. So I feel like I just got my own little lane, my own little sound. I heard that too, that I don't sound like nobody else. That was my biggest fear. I didn't want to get into this nigga, but oh, this nigga sound like such and such, or this nigga sound like, hell no. I'm gonna sound like Deuce. Like, when y'all hear that shit, be like, this nigga sound like Deuce, or that gotta be Deuce on that song. That's what's up. What's your process to writing music? Do you write music? Is it off the dome? Um, One song I did was off the dome. I ain't gonna see her in Capital. But other shit, I literally just be walking and I say like something in my head. I'm like, oh, that was hard. So I go to my notes on my phone and write it down. And then I'll just build from there. And then it'll be like, like 50 some bars. And then it go my little cheat sheet. It'll be like 50 <laughs> some bars. So then I'll just take the first four bars, boom, they go to the hook, everything else. That's the verse. And then put the hook back. And then whatever I didn't use, I'll put that for some other shit and just build there. So it's really like all my raps is this long ass note. And that's how I be cutting my shit up like that. So are you are you planning on putting out any albums soon or mixtape or something? Um, I'm gonna try to shoot for an EP for the summer. Right now we just trying to focus on these couple singles I got in the cut and then get visuals out for them. And then once I Got like the all the attention that I want, then we'll start getting like in the EPs and albums and shit like that. So speaking of the summer, what what are your big summer plans for 2020? Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to be on by the summer. That's my that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be well established with my team, and I'm at a point like not comfortable, but feel like like I finally like really really did it. Cause I ain't even been doing this. This summer would be a year I've been doing this, and I'm trying to. Take off for four years. I'm, I'm gonna take off. We ain't finna say I'm trying. We gonna do that shit. Man. So you plan on going back to Atlanta? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to Atlanta. I'm supposed to be going in May. Shoot two videos and you know, go fuck with the homies. Do a little politicking, you know. But yeah, definitely going back. All right. So, so one more question. That's all I got for What's one up? question. So, if you could say anything to the people who's watching and who's listening, mm -hmm. what, what would you say to the people? Okay, let me, cause I'm high. Do you mean on some like, what would I say to them for watching this video or anybody that's trying to like rap and do something? Like, what would I tell them? What, what you feel? Just tell, tell me I'm, I'm gonna answer both my questions. Yeah, there you go. So, if you're watching this video, you need to subscribe. And if you ain't already in tune with me, you need to get in tune. My shit is on every platform. Only one deuce. The, z the O and only is a zero. So it's zero N L Y, the number one D E U C E. Then the second question uh, anybody that's trying to do like me, man, I say, if you believe in that shit, then don't give up on that shit. And if you ain't willing to invest in yourself, ain't nobody else gonna take you serious and invest in you. So you gotta invest in yourself for anybody who wanna, you know what I'm saying, invest in you. And stick with it if you really trying to do it. Cause this shit is, I ain't even where I wanna be at yet. And this shit 
difficult as hell, but that shit just gave me more motivation to just keep going because it'll be well worth it once I get to where I'm supposed to be.